Good morning everyone. Today I am going to start a new topic which is time shifting, scaling and time reversal. A time shifting a signal can be shifted to left hand side or right hand side on the time axis. Shifting on the left hand side indicates the signal is advanced by that amount. Shifting to the right hand side indicates that signal is delayed by the same amount. For example, XT plus B indicates that you are shifting the signal to the left hand side. So signal is advanced by B units on time axis and signal XT minus B with respect to signal XT indicates that the signal is delayed by B units on time axis which will appear on the right hand side of the time axis. Now time scaling, a multiplication of the time variable by a factor of A then the output signal is contracted by A along the time axis. However, the division of a time variable by a factor of A, then the output signal is expanded by a factor of A. In term of signal, suppose XT is given to us, then X of AT indicates that it's a contraction. So the signal which contract in time axis, X of T divided by A is expansion, which is exactly opposite to what we consider well when we consider it as a multiplication and division. Here, it means that now you are using the same signal or the appearance of the signal is fast as compared to the appearance of the signal XT. Consider it with the example of an, a video playing or an audio playing. So when you are doing it, you are making that signal to appear, the complete signal to appear for a small amount of time or the reduced amount of time contraction. In a similar way, here the signal will be expanded. Time reversal. Time reversal basically means rotating in time axis by 180 degree. So if a signal XT is given, then signal X of minus T is the shifted version of the same signal on the negative side of the axis. So whatever the values you have defined on the positive, now will go to negative and the values which are appearing on the negative side will go to the order of time scaling side. shifting and reversal when they appear together always remember that you have to follow this rule when the time scaling shifting and reversal when they appear together in the same question the order is you have to shift the signal first by the same amount when i'm saying same amount i'm talking about signal xt so the first signal which you will find is XT plus B. Then scaling means now you will scale it by the value defined here as A. So you will find now next signal will be XAT plus B. And the third one will be X of minus AT plus B. That means the reversal or the effect of the negative will come at the last stage. So the first signal will be xt plus b then xt a plus b by doing scaling and finally x of minus at plus b using time now we will do the question based on these three topics so we are considering this signal x of t which is has a value of amplitude equals to 2 from 0 to 1 it's a decreasing sloppy equation from 1 to 2 from minus 1 to 0 it has a constant amplitude equals to 1 and again a triangular waveform from between minus 2 and minus 1 and we have to solve x of t minus 1 x of 2 minus t x of 2 t plus 1 x of 4 minus t by 2 x of t plus x of minus t wall multiplied by ut and the last one is xt impulse function t plus 3 by 2 minus impulse t minus 3 by 2 now start with the first one x of t minus 1 here t minus 1 indicates that delaying the signal so basically we will shift the same signal to the right hand side by a value equals to 1 now when i'm saying delaying you can see that that this signal start appearing at a value equals to t equals to minus 2 and this signal is appearing from minus 1 so it's basically a shifting, complete shifting of this signal by a value equals to 1. So whatever the value we have between 1 and 2 will appear between 2 and 3. Whatever value you have between 0 and 1 means 
the amplitude 2 will now appear between 1 and 2 whatever value you have between minus 1 and 0 now appear between 0 and 1 whatever value you have between minus 2 and minus 1 will now appear between minus 1 and 0 so it's basically shifting the complete signal by right hand side with a value equals to 1 now x of 2 minus t here you have to remember the rule which was discussed on the previous slide that you if there is a shifting scaling and time reversal then you have to follow the order so the first thing here is if you see there is a shifting so forget this negative side and do shifting by a value equals to 2 so you have to find the signal 2 plus t first so x of 2 t plus 2 plus t is basically shifting to the left hand side or you can say you are advancing the signal by a value equals to 2 so this signal will shift to negative side by value equals to minus 2 so it will the signal will start appearing from minus 4 to 0 in a similar fashion which uh, the way we did it in the a part now what we have to do is x of 2 minus t so now you will use the time reversal property so you will rotate this signal by 180 degree so whatever the value you have on negative side will start appearing on the positive side without change in amplitude without change in the on the value on time axis except one thing that you will change the sign of them so minus 1 will go to plus 1 minus 2 will go to plus 2 minus 3 will go to minus plus 3 minus 4 will go to plus 4 the amplitudes and the remaining properties of the signal will x remain of same. 2t plus 1 c part it's simple it's again follow you have to follow the three rule all the three rules here you have a shifting scaling here so there is no time reversal here but you still have to remember all the three rules so it's you have to shift the signal first so you will find x of t plus 1 so you are basically advancing the signal by value equals to 1 so the signal which was starting from 2 now will start from 1 on this side and which was ending at minus 2 now will end at minus 3 now what you have to do is here is scaling so it's shift first and then you will scale the signal when you are scaling remember that you have to scale the time axis you don't have to scale the amplitude it's not the reduction in the amplitude by a number it's a reduction in on the time axis so multiplication means that you will contract the signal or you will reduce the signal on time axis the time uh, which it appearing on the time axis so here it will reduce by 1 by 2 1 by 2 0 divided by 2 again will be 0 minus 1 divided by 2 will be 2 on minus 1 by 2 minus 2 divided by 2 will be minus 1 this will be minus 3 by 2 so it's time advancing shift to left and this is amplitude remains same but contraction on time axis so this is scaling d part x of 4 minus t by 2 again you have to follow the same rule time shifting scaling and final, finally time reversal so the first thing which you have to do with respect to the original signal given to you is that you have to shift the same signal by value equals to 4 so you will find first of all x of 4 plus t the signal which was starting from plus 2 on the positive side now will shift to minus 2 due to this 4 because we are shifting to left by minus 4 so it will start from minus 2 and it will end at minus 6 again now you have to do is time scaling so you have to divide the time axis only you don't have to change any amplitudes of the signal so here it's basically division here division here means multiplication in time domain so all the time axis points will become double 
so it will minus 12 minus 10 minus 8 minus 6 and minus 4 now time shifting done scaling done what remains is time reversal so you will repeat shift this signal by 180 degree or you can say you rotate this signal by a value equals to 180 degree so whatever you have on negative side will go to positive side and if you have something on positive side will go to negative side in this case we don't have anything on positive side so the signal will start from 4 this point will go to plus 4 this will go to plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 there is no change in amplitude I'm repeating it again when we are doing time scaling there is no change in amplitude e part x of t plus x of minus t multiplied by u of t as we know that ut is a unit step function which has amplitude 1 for t greater than equals to 0 and for the remaining values the value is 0 so we can plot this signal as from minus infinite to 0 or you can say on the negative side it's the amplitude is 0 and from 0 to plus infinite of you can say all the positive values of t the signal has an amplitude equals to 1 so it's a unit step so a step of 1 starting from 0 to 1 so if we are we multiplied this signal with x of t then the only parts of the uh, parts of xt which are on the positive side will pass through it the amplitude of this signal is equals to 1 the amplitude of xt is between 0 and 2 on positive side so the xt into u of t will be this uh, the amplitude equals to 2 between 0 and 1 and between 1 and 2 that it will be a slope or you can say triangular waveform if you find the x of minus t of the signal then it will be of this form as we are using time reversal so we are rotating the original given signal xt to us by 180 degree so the signal which was starting from 0 to 2 positive side will go to the negative side and the things which are on the negative side means from between minus 2 to 0 will now move to positive side between 0 and 2 so if you will multiply this signal with u of t then the only points which are on positive side will appear and the negative side will become 0 due to this part because ut is not defined for between 0 and in minus infinite or you can say the amplitude there is equals to 0 so anything multiplied with 0 on the negative side will become 0 so this will be x of minus t into u of t now if you add these two signals that what we are supposed to do in the question then for this part for this part you can see that between 0 and 1 this signal is 2 between 0 and 1 this signal is 1 so the amplitude between these 0 and 1 will be equals to 3 now for this part you can say that this is a positive side negative side going slope and this one is a negative side positive side going slope so you can say that these two functions will cancel each other and the amplitude in this area will be equals to 0. x of t into delta t plus 3 by 2 minus delta t minus 3 by 2. So this is an impulse function. So the impulse function is only defined at value equals to 0 whatever you have in bracket you will put it equals to 0 so this part will be defined at t equals to minus 3 by 2 and the amplitude will be 1 and this will be defined at t equals to 3 by 2 and amplitude will be 1 again but due to this minus sign the amplitude will become minus so when you will multiply it with x of t so if xt has some value equals at delta equals to 3 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 it will multiply it with the amplitude of these so these amplitude equals to minus 1 and plus 1 
so if you use x of t you will multiply it you will see that at t equals to minus 3 by 2 amplitude of x t is minus 1 by 2 and the amplitude of this signal will be equals to equals to 1 by 2 x t at t equals to 3 by 2 will be equals to 1 by 2 so when you will multiply this signal with those amplitudes it will be minus 1 by 2 at t equals to minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 at t equals to 3 by 2 which is explained here thank you for listening the audio you can say the video of the properties of signals i'll keep on doing some more questions on these topics but i require your feedback and subscription so that whenever i upload any video you can know that there's a new uh, video uploaded on my channel so please subscribe and like it and also write some comments if you have any questions i can answer your questions also thank you have a nice day